Hey guys, this is Tekka Chris, and this is the review of the Galaxy Note 8. Let's first start with design. The Note has a glass and metal design that's fallen off on the corners of the device. On the right side, there's a power button. On the left side, there's a volume rocket with the big suit button just right below it. Since it's glass and metal, you know it's going to get fingerprints easily, and I have to continuously wipe the front and back of the device to make it look neat for the video. But anyways, the Note 8 has a 6.3 inch infinity display which is perfect for watching YouTube videos like this. And on the software side, it's running Android 7.1.1 Nougat on top of Samsung Experience 8.1 as well. On to cameras. The Note 8 has not one, but two 12 megapixel cameras. With one of them having telephoto lens, the f2.4 lens, and the opposite having a wide angle lens f1.7 and also both lemons have OIS or optical image stabilization which is the first on any smartphone. On the front there's an 8 megapixel camera with an f1.7 lens of autofocus. On the camera app there's a button to go into 2x zoom or 1x zoom and the icon on the center is for live focus which blurs the background and if you're done you could choose wide angled or the close-up shot, which is neat. The battery on the Note 8 is 3300 milliamps, which is small for a large phone, but Samsung is making sure that the battery fits without complications. But if you run out of juice, you could charge it by USB Type-C or fast charging it wirelessly. The Note 8 has 64 gigabytes of removable storage, with the option to expand up to 200 and 56 gigabytes of movie media with a micro SD card. Now to special features. The Note 8 is in a note without an S Pen, but you can do a handful of stuff like Smart Select, Screen Write, Bixby Vision, Translate, Live Message, Screen Off Memo, which now you can add more as you like, and the build apps for the carousel. Also, there's an iris scanner facial recognition, which I highly suggest you don't use, and an oddly placed fingerprint sensor, which if you scroll up or down, you can pull up or down the quick settings menu, which is pretty cool. So, where does that take us for the Note 8? It's a device for people who want to do bigger things, but does it have what it takes to compete against the competition, such as the newly announced LG V30? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell to get notified. Comment, like, share, and follow me on my social media to get behind the scenes of videos before they air. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Are you kidding me? <sighs>